Welcome back. We're joined by Mr. Vedina Sanao, uh, the MD and CEO IDFC First Bank on their entry into the credit card business. Mr. Vedina good morning. Good to have you with us. To begin with, how will you be able to fund uh, credit card customers at such low yields compared to some of your peers? Okay. Uh, first of all, you know, in India, the credit card market has usually been at about 40% per annum, which is about like 3.5% per month. Uh, and that's been the norm for like close to 30 years now. Uh, what we thought was that, that we will, uh, on the basis of the customer's, you know, track record, uh, credit score, uh, you know, relationship with us, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, many other such factors and some internal scoring, we thought we will tier the customer with, with different rates between 9% to 36%. Uh, and that, in a way, will get good customers, good quality customers, good credit customers, and that will be one of our key features. Okay, fantastic. I also want to get a sense of the timing as well and the thought behind that. Uh, you know, the kind of uh, opportunity that you're obviously sensing here. Um, you know, and, and you've clearly uh, gone ahead with the strategy of undercutting competition quite aggressively with the kind of rates that you're offering. So uh, just tell us the thought and the rationale behind this. No, actually, we're not uh, looking at, you know, either undercutting competition or even like, you know, on a press this morning reported as uh, disrupting the market. You know, we don't use those terms internally and that's not how we think. Uh, the way we think is that the market has to expand uh, and that's very key, you know, for after 25 years of being, uh, having India having credit cards, India has only about 50 million credit cards. India has some like 800 or 850 million debit cards. So it's not possible that there are you know, 600 million of them who just not good for a credit. So basically we believe this market can be dramatically expanded and the high APR, the image of a credit card in India generally speaking thus far is always that if you revolve the rate is very high, say so 40%. That's the image. We believe that if we offer rates varying from 9% APR to 36, uh, the, the image uh, also changes. Uh, the credit card industry also gets in better. The market expands. We should think it doesn't expand in market, not in terms of disruption and all that. So, Mr. Vaidyanathan, is that the thinking, even when it comes for uh, the rate that you're offering for young borrowers with poor track records at about 36%, that's a 10 to 12% discount to other players? Pretty credit customers, whether they're young millennial or whether they are, you know, uh, uh, what we call select customers, what we call the wealth management customers, the whole profile looking for good customers. Uh, the way we uh, think is that, uh, you know, the initial launch of this card is really by invitation only, by not for customers to apply to the bank. So we will select, select the customers whom we think are, whom we want to build the relationship with and whom we want to give the cards to. So that's our thinking, yes. Even for millennium, even for every category, that's our thinking. Uh, basically our theory is that keep it no fine print, keep it very straightforward, keep it simple. Uh, every product we think, we think that let the customer be somewhere in a room when they're thinking about the product. And that's how we're making all our products at the bank. Um, are you not worried though about your asset quality then that there may be a surge um, particularly coming in from the potentially younger borrowers that you were lent to? What's the, what's the trajectory for asset quality? Yeah, are you meaning for uh, the existing book or are you meaning from the credit card business point of view? If we could talk about both but in particular for the credit card. Okay, no, I'd, I'd rather stick to the credit card discussion because we're in a silent period. That's why I clarified that question. So, uh, no, as far as credit card is concerned, uh, like like I said, you know, we will offer, of course, credit card to millennial and, every, of course, every income category and every age category. But, uh, like I said, uh, even on millennial, we are going to be focused on the customers. You know, we, the way we think about it, this is a, you know, a marathon. We've got to run this. Um, uh, you know, the bank, they're building a bank for decades and centuries, not like one quarter, two quarters. So even among the millennial, we want to select the customers who we believe we meet our uh, uh, internal stringent uh, credit requirements. So either on a millennial, we don't, I mean, we've got to be very conscious about credit cards in the, as a risk is concerned, but we are quite confident of managing that.
Okay. And can you tell us where you're seeing the largest opportunity when it comes to sourcing customers? Would it be Metro, Tier 2? What's the breakup? Uh, we, we, uh, right now, it's for existing customers. Uh, is the way we defined it. So by March of this year, we'll probably put out close to about 200,000 cards uh, and uh, uh, the existing customers, but eventually as a bank, we're going to be in uh, tier one, of course, we're going to be metros and everywhere. We're going to be in tier two. We are very much in rural. So see, for example, think of rural, for example, the rural market, you know, you know the number of credit cards are really nothing. You know, it's like a round of a fraction for in terms of number of cards and issuance. We will go there as well. So we will gradually expand our business to uh, pan country, pan segment, uh, because we're a universal bank. We deal with so many customers on a savings account front. We are getting, you know, as all of you know by now, our deposit numbers are getting a lot of customers keeping deposits with us. People who keep balances with us will give them card. So you think about it like a uh, uh, like a, like an all India launch, it's not like tier one, tier two, tier three. Thank you for sharing with us your outlook and wishing you all the very best. Good to have you on board, Mr. Vedinathan. That's the word coming in, at focusing on the credit card business, the opportunities for growth, the kind of rates uh, as well for IDFC First Bank. But with that, we're completely out of time. So with news that we're down a half a percent for the frontliners at 14,510. From the entire team that put the show together, many thanks for watching. Keep it with ET now. Lots more lineups.